Work now starts again after a two-week break. Are you ready and refreshed? Can you really rest your mind in two weeks? Oh, surely two weeks have been great for recharging our batteries. Two weeks are not a long time, but surely it's uh, due to the fact that with this break, all the Formula One activities stopped. There are really two intense weeks where we can dedicate time to our family. If this time is uh, good enough for refreshing, completing our minds, it's difficult. We don't want to lose concentration. So our mind is always uh, preparing ourselves for the next uh, challenge to come. And also sometimes in relaxed environment, far from daily routine job, uh, good ideas can come as well. We go straight into two races that are very tough on the engines, with Spa followed by Monza. How does one take us such a punishing schedule? Spa and Monza are two very challenging tracks for powertrain. Two where the, the important engine power is higher in terms of lap time. We have no uh, lot of freedom to modify engine to increase power, but still we can work on fuel and lubricants, for example. We can work intensively on decreasing the performance degradation through the engine life. Monza is a very quick track. The wide open throttle percentage is the highest in all the championship. So this is a very challenging uh, um, uh, chance for engine to show how good it is. From a purely engine point of view, how would you assess the first part of the season? Well, that's quite difficult to, to make a judgment of the first part of the season. I would say we are in target at the moment. We are fully focused on the second part of the season. It's very important for us to confirm the good work we have done so far. From an engine point of view, we are in target in terms of reliability and performance, but also we are quite happy about the result we got so far from the electronic side and the cares. We didn't stop the three, uh, three teams uh, where we put our powertrain at the moment. And on the electronics and cares front? We are reasonably happy as well on uh, cares and electronics. On cares side, we did not redesign the system it's an evolution of 2011 system, but we made it uh, smaller, lighter, with a better distribution of volumes to, be, to let our colleagues on the chassis side to decide a better car. We work also to improve efficiency of the system, but we always try to keep development costs very low to be able to offer a cheap supply to our customers. Despite all the limitations imposed by the regulations, what can be done in terms of development? We can't work directly on performance. We are not allowed to make any change on the engine to have more power. As I told you before, we can work on fuel and lubricants, and this is very good to have a, a historic partner like Shell working with us. On the other side, every time there is a new car, the installation part of the engine itself is very important because the easier the engine is installing the car, the better the car can be. We also work a lot on uh, exhaust pipes development. The exhaust at the moment design is based on a compromise between aero performance and engine performance as well. And this is good. We have worked very well with our colleagues from the aero point of view. We also have worked a little bit on engine mapping. Though the limitation at the moment is quite strict from a regulation point of view, there is still some uh, uh, performance that is possible to be gained working on this. At Spa, as indeed in Interlagos, one races at high altitude, which is not commonly experienced in motor racing. Does this factor have an influence on engine behavior? So low barometric uh, pressure, high humidity and high temperature, these are not good uh, parameters to have a performance. If you, for example, compare an engine uh, racing in Interlagos with a lot of humidity, low barometric pressure, with an engine running at the beginning of the season in uh, Barcelona during testing, you may have more than 50 horsepower difference. And this is physics. We cannot do anything on this. Rather than this, I would, I'm quite worried in Spa because the weather is so easily changeable during the day. Then sometimes it's more important to select the right strategy to enter the car rather than the engine itself. It's not just the 2012 program on the agenda, as the forthcoming V6 adventure is getting close enough to touch. Where exactly are we with this project? Are you happy with the way things are going? This is a very challenging period for powertrain people. We are working on the 2012 uh, powertrain, 
and the rest of the season is very important. No one mentioned that we have to work with the 2013 engine with a new installation that is a big work. In the same times, we have the V6, uh, the first prototype of V6 running on the dyno, and this is a very interesting project. 2014 regulation is extremely challenging, completely new Formula One powertrain regulation, mostly focused on energy recovery, and there is uh, indeed an area where Ferrari wants to invest, it is interesting on. Our V6 is running at the moment, and we are learning a lot of things. It's a turbo engine, a different turbo because it implies energy recovery also from the turbo compressor, and we are really focused on this, and we are looking forward to interpret the rules in the right way.